monitor of the electricity in your heart. So I'm going to have you just row from the waist up and put this vest on. Much like a jacket, keep it open to the front. So I'm going to step out and have you do that for me, please. During this procedure, you want to make sure that you're as calm as possible because anxiety can result in an inconclusive test. For standard EKG, we have six leads and six electro placements. The first lead is placed at the fourth intercostal space at the right border of the sternum. The second lead is directly across the sternum at the fourth intercostal space on the left border. The third lead is a step down midway between locations V2 and V4. The fourth lead is at the mid-clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space. So as you can see, it's in the middle of the clavicle. The fifth lead is at the anterior axillary line on the same horizontal level as V4. And the sixth lead is at the mid-axillary line on the same horizontal level as V4 and V5. So it's under the armpit area. To ground the electricity from the EKG, we place electrodes on the right wrist, the left wrist, the left leg, and the right leg. After you've assured that the patient is decent, come in and ask him or her to lay flat on their back in supine position. Then you're going to start by cleaning the area of where the leads are going to be placed to make sure that they don't fall off. Take an alcohol wipe and trace a Z-shaped line on the area where the electrodes are going to be placed. Place your first electrodes on each of the inner legs adjacent to the bone to ground the electricity and make sure that the tab is facing towards the patient, this part. Place the next two electrodes on the inner arms of the patient and make sure that the tab is facing down. You want to make sure you're going around the patient and not reaching over them. So. Place the first electrode at the fourth intercostal space to the left border of the sternum and make sure they're face down. Place the second one at the fourth intercostal space at the right border of the sternum. Get the machine ready and turn it on by pressing the green power button. Place the leads above the patient's pelvic area and start applying them to the electrodes. This one is the left leg, so make sure that the red part of the lead is placing up and put it on the tab. This is the right leg. And then start applying them to the arms. This is the right arm, and then the left arm, okay, relax. After you've applied all the grounding electrodes, start working on the chest area. And we start with V1, and make sure they don't peel off, V2. V3, V4, V5, and V6 is right under the armpit area. All these green dots indicate that the electrodes are placed in the correct areas. So then you want to hit auto EKG and enter the patient's information.
and hit done when you're finished. And right here where it says print EKG, you want to press that. And the patient needs to sit still for 10 seconds as it analyzes the data. And here we have a printing. Afterwards, we just rip it off. As we finish, we want to gently remove all the electrodes. And again, don't go over the patient, go around them. And that concludes how to do an EKG. When you're finished, make sure you turn off the machine. Place the plastic cover back over it. And gently put the leads right on top of the machine.